activism I was ever involved in was in 1978 on a march through London to this park in support of Rock Against Racism, into this very park. I was 19 at the time. I was working in an office with a bunch of guys who were a bit older than me. Their language was racist. It was sexist, it was homophobic. They were a bunch of verbal bullies. And I knew that, and I didn't say anything because I thought I was in a minority. I thought I was in a minority, but then I came to this march. My favorite band, The Clash, were playing just, under, just in this park. The Rock Against Racism. So me and my friends, we marched through the streets of London. We came to the park. And when I came in the park here, there were 100,000 kids just like me. And I knew that day that my generation would define themselves in opposition to discrimination of all types. We would be, we would be the generation of two-tone, of artists against apartheid. We would defeat the National Front. We would take on and defeat the British National Party. We will face down the EDL. We will make sure that nobody uses the symbols of our country to oppress our neighbours. We'll make sure of that. But this is the real important thing. The next day when I went back to work, I knew I wasn't in a minority, not in my generation. So I faced down those, uh, those guys at work and I told them what I thought about them. Here's the crucial thing, here's the crucial thing. It wasn't the clash that gave me the confidence to go back and, and stand up for what I believed in. They got me to the park, that was really important. It was being in the audience with those people singing together those songs, cheering those ideas that gave me the confidence to go back and do my little bit about changing my little bit of the world. And that's how it works. That is how it's always worked. Ever since the days of Woody Guthrie, back in the 1930s, singer-songwriters have tried to inspire audiences to take away a message and make that message real in their community. And Woody Guthrie's message, that he wrote that was most relevant to me, that was relevant to me on that day in 1978, and is, I believe, relevant to all of us here to, today. The message I'd like you to take away from this little bit is this message. All you fascists are bound to lose. <laughs> Stop us, this one thing. 